If you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time in meetings. Some of these meetings are scheduled days or even weeks ahead of time. The gotcha with this type of meeting is it's not that conducive to innovation, right? And if you have an idea and you want to meet with a couple of your peers quickly, you're not going to send out an invite and wait for them to get back to you and do all that. The ideas are lost, things get uh, passed over, you have to wait, the innovation just doesn't go forward. Cisco is attempting to solve some of this and get us back to the digital water cooler, if you will, by adding device hosted meetings. I have a video endpoint here, this is a WebEx board. Uh, this is actually consistent on the WebEx board as well as on the Navigator tablet for the room bars and the room kits and those types of things. Uh, but what this feature is, is device hosted meetings. So the workflow or the use case would be, you have an idea, you wanna collaborate with some peers or colleagues or what have you, even people outside of your organization, you can walk up to this board, hit the WebEx meeting button. As you can see, this is the typical join experience from before. You can type in the meeting number here if you have a pre-scheduled meeting, but you can also hit start new meeting right from this endpoint. So no scheduling, no extra steps, um, no finding a room that's available because you're already in front of a room. And what you do is hit start new meeting. What's going to happen is the endpoint is going to dial into a meeting. Uh, as you hit start, the meeting is already built. It's ready to go. You can actually add participants by hitting the add participants button here. Uh, let's do that. You can search the directory. You can search for individuals in your organization. You can type in an email address of someone from another organization who has a WebEx account. It'll get this invite to them, right? It could pop up on their video endpoint or pop up in their messaging client. Uh, or you can come back here and actually scan this QR code with your mobile phone and then text or send this via, um, you know, SMS, via your messaging client. You could post it on social media if you wanted just random people to show up. Either way, you take out your camera and you scan the QR code. Go ahead and take that QR code, open up that URL that the QR code is referencing, and from here, you just share the meeting information. You can copy it to an invite, hit the uh, share icon, and then you have your apps across the bottom of the screen where you can share and get that word out. This is the best way to meet as instantly as possible with people from really anywhere, uh, globally, if you will, and uh, have that water cooler discussion without the formalities. Once you're in the meeting, things are gonna function exactly as if they are a scheduled meeting. You have all of your controls either across the bottom of the screen on the WebEx board. You have all of your controls if you're using a Navigator tablet as well. Uh, so you can mute, you know, admit people into the space. You can do all of that type of stuff. Uh, even turn on the WebEx Assistant and closed captioning. All those capabilities are there. Uh, on a WebEx board, of course, you can bring up the whiteboard as well. Um, the coolest thing about this is if you have cloud registered video endpoints from Cisco today, there's zero cost to enable this. This is part of the tech stack. If you go into the uh, workspace or the device in Control Hub, you can actually drill down and enable this functionality on the devices individually so that it is ready to go uh, immediately. You can start using it and you know, experiencing the value of it today, again, for zero additional cost. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, uh, anything else, leave them in the video comments section below. I always love hearing from you guys. Keep collaborating out there, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.